So, like, the weirdest thing happened last week. Mortal Kombat's, like, dead. Now, it's not, like, officially dead. Like, NRS, WB, they haven't came out and been like, yeah, the game's over. But, like, a very credible leaker in the community came out and was like, bro, we were supposed to get a Combat Pack 3 of DLC, like a campaign expansion part 2. It was going to be, like, only MK characters and one guest character. It was just not happening now. That's kind of wild, dude, that we got that ki- that type of information. Just like, felt like a dead week. And then, boom, there it all is. I really don't think the reason is going to surprise anyone, though. Chaos Reigns, uh, it wasn't the only reason, but it was one of the more major reasons. Sold so poorly that it basically just like, they were like, nah, we're done. And, damn, that's just like the, the track record with MK1, right? Like, this super frustrating development cycle and launch and everything else. The launch and like the development for the game, the design for the game have been like the big downfalls for me. And I feel like a lot of other people who aren't like professional, but like are like good at the game. They keep up with a lot of fighting games. Um, you know, they're just in the community, maybe not professionally, but like the sentiment was like this game, it, it's purely balanced for evo moments right like we have these super long crazy ass combos that do no damage so it's like we can have like four different evo moments in one match we have all of these comeback mechanics not all of these combat not as many as mk11 but we still have fatal blows this super slow like hard to open people up slow footsy slow neutral it's just been Super frustrating development cycle. It's super frustrating launch for me. Like, the game launched pretty bad. Uh, you could barely find an online match. Super frustrating. It didn't matter if it was ranked or casual. Like, you just couldn't find a match. I sat there for, like, two hours. Multiple different times. Trying to find one match. In player and ranked match. Couldn't do it. Super frustrating. Um, Kenshi was a lot of fun at the beginning. But I think on top of that, like, Combat Pack 1, like, the beginning really amplified those problems with, like, um, Omni-Man and Homelander, you know, a bunch of the different characters in Combat Pack 1, pretty much everybody for me except for, like, Takeda, they just weren't that fun. It kind of amplified the problems I already had with the game, like, they had, like, one combo route, they didn't do a whole lot of damage, their neutral kind of sucked, like, it was just boring. I think that's what MK1 can, like, be summed up to. Confusingly boring. When it comes to, like, the, uh, the cameos. They wanted to be an assist game without committing fully to the assists. They can't do what assists can do in Dragon Ball or in Marvel. Like, they're only assists in the nature that you call them out mid-combo sometimes. Or sometimes the specific assists you, or cameos you call out for, like, neutral gain but even then like the neutral gain that you get isn't really gain like it is in a fight like an assist fighting game where like you call out like a projectile assist and you gain ground in the neutral because of that or you gain the screen whatever like you can't do that in mk1 you get locked into one spot just an overall super frustrating game down to its very core in my opinion and to make matters even more frustrating when it comes to this combat pack 3 and the story expansion part 2, whatever, um, getting cancelled is the fact that they were turning it around with combat pack 2, the end of combat pack 1 with Takeda, he was still frustrating, like his neutral was still like slower, but he had some like neutral breaking things, which makes a fighting game fun, neutral break makes it fun. Um, he had multiple different combo routes, his combos did a little bit more damage, a little bit, let me remember correctly, a lot of fucking damage, like he was super fun, uh, Ghostface, super fun, Ghostface was super fun, uh, he just came out, he's super fun, um, heard good things about Cyrax and Sector, but that also leads us to another problem with why, in my opinion, Chaos Reigns failed to sell so well, it's because, like, dude, it was marketed so horribly, I didn't know about it. Until, like, the day the trailer dropped. Like, and it was apparently teased and everything else just in a horrible way. And then people forgotten. I've seen so many people talk about Chaos Reigns and how they forgot it even came out. Or it was coming out. They forgot it was coming out until, like, it came out. Or, like, the day before. 
which is crazy, dude. Like, and that was me, too. Like, I'd forgotten it existed. I'd forgotten they were doing it until, like, the day it came out, which is just it's fucking crazy, considering I bought, like, every DLC since, like, MKX. And, like, it was just marketed so horribly. Chaos Reigns was just marketed terribly. And then we come to the most major problem with Chaos Reigns is, like, the price, bro. Like, are we surprised it failed? Like, for $70, I got a full campaign, a base roster of, like, a, a full campaign in, like, the aspect of, like, I think it was, like, 6 to 10 hours, a base roster of, like, 22 to 24 characters, um, invasions, towers, towers of time, online, ranked, player match, all the customization for every character. I got all of that for 70 bucks, and they wanted me to pay 50 for a two hour to three hour expansion and six characters. Are, are we surprised it failed? Not really. When I did learn about it, I still don't own it. I don't even want to pay $35 for it on sale. I don't even feel like it's worth that, especially with how they tried to pr price gouge to begin with. You've already kind of like burnt me and I don't even want to give you what I would have paid for it new at this point. I'd rather wait until it goes on sale like a year from now for like 20 bucks and then I'll buy it and play it. Um, I'll buy the characters that interest me as they come out. Like I bought Ghostface, I'll probably buy the T2 uh, Terminator, but I'm not buying the full expansion. And that's sad. Like the price gouge was real and it's not NRS's fault. fault. And you could say like we need to support NRS and buy these things, but if we're supporting NRS and buying these things, we're supporting like a bad business practice from WB and I'm not going to do that. And it's probably obviously WB, like they're the reason that, that MK1 is now over. They probably forced them to be over after the bag sells. It's not going to have that potential for that MKX patch to change around the game and make it more fun and more uh, open with what you can do. And because they're so focused on their big IPs like Hogwarts Legacy, this came out a couple weeks ago, Hogwarts Legacy that franchise, Batman, Mortal Kombat, and another one, no mention of, injust of, it, of Injustice, we're not going into an Injustice game, we're going to go straight into another Mortal Kombat game, they're, they're probably not going to have time to develop it, it's just, it's a fucking mess, man, and it's been a mess since, like, MK11, in my opinion, probably Injustice 2, that's when we started to see, like, the trickle downfall, but MK11 is when it got bad, it was not fun to play, a lot of people could tell that from the first time they put their hands on it. Not fun to play. Combos weren't there. It was balanced for Evo. So many defensive measures that you could take. Comeback mechanics. Combos did no damage. Crushing blows. Fatal blows. Like, all of that. That was the start of the downfall. And then they got so confused. They wanted to listen to the community. But they were probably being told, hey, you need a, a, you need a competitive, interesting Evo game. So, like... We need these Evo moments, we need this this neutral, these footsies, like, whatever. You know, like, they're so confused. It, it sucks, man. It's tragic. Mortal Kombat really just doesn't know what it wants to be anymore. And I really wish it would go back to its roots with, like, MKX and MK9. Like, I hope this is, like, a learning moment. And, like, they, they see this and they're like, eh, maybe we should go, like, back to MKX and MK9 and see what we did right there and try to implement that. Instead of, like, doing this crazy shit like cameos, which I was really excited for. I was like, hell yeah, assists. Assists are cool. I love assists fighting games. But they, they didn't even commit to the assists, like, making them assists. I don't know. It's just been super frustrating. I think overall, when it comes to MK1, I don't think anyone is surprised that it's officially over. I don't think anyone's surprised. I think you can look at the track record of the game since it was released and see it heading down that slippery slope of definitely not getting the amount of support that Ed Boon promised because of the way it was developed, because of the way it was marketed when it came to the DLC and everything, everything else, the way it was designed. It just didn't know what it wanted to be. It didn't know how to market itself. And it got price gouged by WB. It's unfortunate. It's tragic. Um, hopefully the next one's better. You know, I, I, it's, it's tragic, but hey, what else can you do? I guess Mortal Kombat 1's fucking dead.